Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 21. And in this lesson, um, we're continuing from our previous lesson. Well, in our previous lesson, we learned about uh, pennies, nickels, and dimes. In this lesson, we're going to continue with those three coins, plus we're going to add in uh, understanding uh, how, to, the, the, how to recognize and the value of a quarter. So let's get started. So we begin with just the classic depth of knowledge number one, the lowest level, which is do we even recognize the name of each of these coins? So what is this thing? Well, that's a penny. Pennies, dimes, quarters, and nickels. So that's pretty straightforward. Can't do a lot of math with these if they don't even have a name and we, we don't know what to identify them as. So there you go. So we've recognized the names. Now the next step is do we know the value of each of these coins? So the value of a dime, 10 cents or 10 pennies. And then... The value of one penny is one cent or one penny. You see how we're connecting the word pennies with cents? That's kind of important. Uh, so we can always, instead of saying 10 cents, we could also say 10 pennies. And it's supposed to mean the same thing. 10 cents, 10 pennies. And I'll let you finish the rest of these. The biggie, the biggie in this lesson is the fact that one quarter is 25 cents. And the next one, your mom said she'll give you one nickel or one quarter. Which would you take? Well, uh, we're supposed to, I guess, have some sort of cultural understanding that we want money because <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. If I, if I had a, a machine that, that only took nickels for, a, I don't know, a gumball machine or something, and it only took nickels, well, get, being given a quarter isn't going to help me. I might want a nickel instead, but... Let's pretend, I guess the goal is we want money. And so what would you want? Well, we'd want a quarter because it's worth more. It's 25 cents versus 5 cents. So here, a little bit of problem solving. It says Lee has 25 cents in his piggy bank. Which coin or coins could be in his bank? So one thing, since this is a new lesson about quarters, one way he could have 25 cents in his piggy bank is simply having a quarter. There's our quarter. But now we're supposed to ask, what's a different way that would also give us 25 cents? And of course, a classic way to do that. Not the only way at all, but two dimes and a nickel. Parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity to let your students just get into the joy of problem solving and trying to list what are all the different ways that we can make coins have a value of 25 cents. And of course, one of the ways would be having 25 pennies. And another way would have just one quarter. And there's a lot of different ways in between. And parents and teachers, feel free to stretch your students, all of your students, not just any particular group, not just the high kids, not just the low kids, all of your kids would benefit greatly from a problem-solving approach like this. Find all the different ways to make 25 cents. And that wraps up first grade, module six, lesson 21. We've inserted to our vocabulary the word quarters. We know it's what it looks like, we know its name, and we know its value. Hey, by the way, speaking of value, it would be really valuable to me if you subscribed to my channel. Thanks.